Cells at Work second season episode 6. Wow. It's probably the best way of uh, the best way of how to illustrate the large intestine. Okay? A somewhat polluted industrial area. <laughs> All right? Tama yung uh, tama yung pagka-portray nila sa large intestine because well all the pollutants, all the pollutants in your body first go there sa large intestine. All right? More often than not, sa large intestine talaga pumupunta, particularly sa colon. Okay? So after all the nutrients and the water has been taken out, i-evac mo na yan. All right? That goes out your body as shit. All right? That is real shit. Okay? So, of course, even the harmful bacteria go with that. Final scene. Ano final scene? Cancer cell shows himself again. Okay? I don't want to say welcome back because who doesn't uh, who doesn't hate a cancer cell? Okay? Who doesn't hate a cancer cell? Sila sila nga nagpahirap sa mga bida natin ng season 1 eh. Siya mismo nagpahirap. Okay? And now he's back. Overall, it is a fucking good episode. <laughs> it's a fucking good episode, guys. The final stage of digestion has been portrayed perfectly by this episode. Okay? Pace, flow, plot, everything. Okay? Ganda. And, of course, totoo yun. Tama rin yung portrayal nila rito kay cancer cells. Cancer cells, can, cancer cells can come back. Pero, kapag hindi nyo nangagapan ang mga cancer cell na yan, lalala at lalala. Right? They start out, they start out, remember, they start out as just one cell. Now, if they, uh, if they grow, if they grow, if they grow stronger, they will now attract other normal cells to become cancer cells. Ganun lang yan eh. Ganun lang yan. Okay? Kaya, sinasabi nyo, Sinasabi niya ng genetic imbalance uh, as, as, as a cause of cancer, totoo yun. Alright? Kaya nga, yung mga yung mga mga doktor, tinatanong, kunyari, if you have cancer, tinatanong ng doktor kung meron kang family history of cancer because of that. Kasi nga, merong genetic imbalance involved ang mga cancer cells. That's why, that's why, they, that's why they grow into cancer cells. Tama yung pagkakaportray sa episode na to. Right, but for this particular cancer cancer cell to remember the three immune cells that took it out, si NK, si yung killer T no ngayon ni memory cell, memory T cell, and of course our favorite white blood cell, si 1146. He could still remember. Kaya silang tat silang tatlo ang ulan yung dinisita kan. Grabe, alright. So yeah, even cancer cells have memory. So, Cells at Work second season episode six. Two thumbs up. Yempre, two thumbs up. All right. Let me let me get it. Like I said, I'm gonna repeat myself again. If your large intestine has a problem then automatically, your immune system will have a problem. Maganda yung magkakaportray dito. The goblet, the goblet cells look like... Ahala. Para yung mga old style na divers, yung ganun diving suit. <laughs> Ang galing. Talagang, uh, this anime continues to... continues to both amaze and educate us when it comes to... when it comes to the immune system. Okay? At... Gusto ko rin dito yung pagkakaportray nila sa, sa large intestine overall. As a... Um, as an industrial area that is under constant constant fire from harmful bacteria which is expressed in the smoke tsaka ang baho. Yun. Alright? Maganda yung pagkakaportray sa large, sa large intestine dito. Bili mo ko. Bili mo ko talaga. So again, Cells of Work second season episode 6 Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. The next episode has been uh, has been teased. Oh, it's going to be a two-part, 
It's going to be a two-part adventure for our heroes. Of course, our, our favorite immune cells. Cancer cell! Well, I don't want to say welcome back, but... Gusto mo talagang mamatay uli? Bahala ka! <laughs> Tumutok na ng dahil ko. Cells at Work, Code Black, Episode 8. Wow! What's the case? Deep venous thrombosis turning suddenly into a pulmonary embolism. Grabe. If it weren't for um, our favorite red blood cells, quick thinking, this might have, well, the body might have died. That's how catastrophic a pulmonary embolism can be. Alright? And it was portrayed perfectly in this episode. Final scene. Mukhang, wow, okay? Something, something is off, okay? Napapansin ni, ni female white blood cell that she's the only white blood cell around. Lahat mga kasama niya, nawawala. Okay? That's disturbing. May nangyari na naman siguro. Overall, it is one hell of an episode. Alright? Yung pace, yung flow, yung plot, okay, it all came together. It all came together when uh, when red, when the main red blood cell, si, I forgot, I forgot his name na, si 2803 ba yun? Parang ganun eh. Hindi, 58. Ah, basta, yung lalaking red blood cell na bida dito. Pero, if you don't think, if you don't take care, if you don't take care of your, basically your, your cat muscles, your lower legs, you will be more prone to embolisms. More, you'll be more prone to embolisms, actually. Kasi, tama sinabi ng episode, our cat muscles are our second heart. If that, uh, if the heart fails, the calves should pump enough blood para marisong yung circulation dito sa sa upper sa upper body natin. Kaya nga kami mga physical therapist mo yare. Uh, if someone gets dizzy, okay, pinapayga namin, tapos pinapamove lang namin yung mga pinapagalogalo na namin yung paa para magpump para magkaroon ng pump para magpump uli yung blood papalik sa papalik sa sa upper sa upper body or particularly sa brain para mari para mari supply ng dugo yung brain. So, Cells at Work, Code Black, Episode 8. Two thumbs up. Sorry guys, I can't give a big toe right now because I'm not in bed. <laughs> Two thumbs up naman muna. Two thumbs up pa rin, syempre. Code Black is beginning to... Uh, what you call this? Is beginning to... Uh, sort of beginning to outdo the Mother series in terms of... Uh, terms of in how to call this portraying a particular disease. Pero de, actually, ito talaga special din ng Code Black eh. Kaya nga, cells at work Code Black ang title ng anime na to. Because they, they, they are dealing with different conditions on a daily basis. Okay? Hindi lang kasi sakitin ang, ang body na to, abusado pa. <laughs> abusado pa. Okay? That is, that is what they are they are absolutely right in how they portray uh, deep venous thrombosis kasi out, may pagka alcoholic ang body na to so well of course ano pa nga ba too much alcohol mm, deep venous thrombosis okay uh, of course the deep venous thrombosis here was caused by a fatty liver you cannot get a fatty liver that easily if you're an alcohol. You uh, no, You can easily get a fatty liver if you're an alcoholic. Simple. Simple lang. Ganun lang. Ganun, ganun lang. Ganun lang. Ganun lang. Well, it's proof. Okay? This episode is uh, proof enough that alcohol, alcohol never benefits the body. Will never benefit anybody. Okay? Hats off to Lighten Films for delivering us another episode of Gold Black. Another great episode. So again, 
Cells at Work, Cold Black, Episode 8. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Uy, mukhang maganda ang ano. Mukhang medyo... Medyo mas magaang kondisyonis naman ang na pag-uusapan sa next episode. Kasi na-teaser na eh. Can't wait for it. Let's just watch it. Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 5. I'm impressed. That's how they were... How they were able to make a car. <laughs> and... Did you see Senku uh, reinvent carbon fiber? Galing! Final scene! Well... Chrome has decided to escape on his own. He, he's made up his mind that. Because, well... <clears throat> a trap is waiting for Senko. Grabe. Tuso si Chukasa. Tuso. Overall, it's a really good episode. Okay? A lot of... A lot of... Uh, a lot of light moments. Pero, nonetheless... Another science lesson for all of us. Okay? Another science lesson for all of us. Yung pace, yung flow, yung plot... Wala ko masabi. I have no issues with... I have no issues with either one. Okay? I have no issues with either one. And could you believe how devious Chukasa can be? Mira mo, <clears throat> he's no science buff. Okay? He's no science buff like uh, like Senko. But mukhang, mukhang history buff ito eh. Alam niya, alam niya kung anong susunod na invento ni, ni Senko eh. Mukhang alam na niya eh. He has that, he has that idea na of what, of what Senku is going to invent, uh, what Senku is going to invent after the previous one. Parang ano niya He has a good sense of history. Okay? And, he's, and he is working that to his advantage. We are now seeing, okay? We are now seeing how, uh, how devious Chukasa is. Okay? And how well he knows Senku. How well he knows Senko. Yun ang, yun ang delikado nun. That is what, that's what makes uh, Chukasa the, the arch villain here. He is that dangerous. Okay? So, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 5. Two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up. The original plan, kasi, is to, well, is to rescue Chrome. Pero nakita ni Chrome kung ano ang nakandang patibong para kina Senko. He has seen it. He has seen it himself. So, he's decided to, to... He's decided to escape on his own. Para ma-warningan si Senko. Alright? So, kumbaga... Uh, naglakas loob na siya. So, he's... He's made up... He's finally made up his mind to, to escape on his own. So, that was the final scene. And, wow! Looks like... The Chukasa Empire has chucked one up. So, kumbaga... So, in the Stone Wars, it's... Advantage pa rin kila Senko. Although, the Chukasa M... Although Chukasa takes this... Takes this episode for the win. Kasi, the way you see it, Chrome is being held host, hostage. Kaya pala, dun sa nilagay ni, ni Chukasa, may mga patibo pala sa harapan. Alright? Just to bait Senku. Now we know how devious and evil Chukasa can be. <laughs> Alright? This episode showed us uh, why he's the main villain of this, uh, of this series. Of this anime. So again, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 5. Two thumbs up. Alright? The title has been teasered. Mukhang... Baka na TV show yun. <laughs> Baka na TV show yun. But anyway, we'll just have to watch it, okay? Let's just watch it. I am, I'm so pumped to watch the next episode because of this. Higurashi 2020 episode 19. A lighthearted start with a uh, with a disturbing finish. <laughs> okay. 
Hindi mo talaga maalis si Higurashi yung mga, yung mga disturbing endings. <laughs> Final scene, looks like, uh, looks like Satoko is beginning to hate Rika for it. Alright? Overall, overall, uh, on the side of Slice of Life, yeah, it's a really good episode. But, uh, but on the disturbing side, yeah, <laughs> it's just as good. <clears throat> I can cite only two disturbing moments here. The first one was, um, the, well, probably the most disturbing one for me was the, um, that calendar, all right? It says June 1, 1987. But on, but in the bottom of the num, but in the bottom of the date itself, it says 1983. That's that's when Sa that's when Satoko should ask her question to Rika. What's the meaning of this? Ano to? The pace, the flow, and the plot. Um, yeah. Okay, all good. <laughs> yung flow kasi, yung call this, biglang kumabiyo sa final scene eh. It went back to, the anime went back to its disturbing self again eh. Did you see the look, did you see that look on Satoko's eyes? Alright? As if, okay, as if she, she already, she's looking at Rika with murderous intent na. Is this a sign of uh, is this a sign of what's to come? Alright? I say we all know nung, uh, I think two episodes ago. Satoko pointed a gun at Rika. Maybe that's a premonition of what's what's of, of uh, what's about to happen in the last five episodes. Yeah, you heard me, Makalaisa, you heard me, Twitch. After this, it'll be the final five episodes of the reboot. So, yeah, the way I see it now, it is one hell of a setup. Okay. It's one hell of a setup, a setup episode. Kumbaga, uh, it's more, uh, yeah, it's, it has a calm before the storm feel. All right? Gets you? Gets you? It has that calm before the calm before, calm before the storm feels. Parang ganon yun eh. <laughs> Maybe that's why the uh, they they ended the last mini arc that way. Kung maga parang premonition siya to what's to what's about to happen in this arc. Okay. Maga oh. Right? Maybe the curse isn't over yet. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, the most disturbing part here wasn't wasn't that look in Satoko's eye. But what the calendar said before before they before they went to St. Lucia Academy to check kung kung pasok sila sa roster ng sa roster ng mga first year doon. That was disturbing. That was the most disturbing part of this uh, of this episode. The uh, discrepancy sa calendar. Okay. On top it says 1987, but at the bottom it's wow, it's in big bold numbers. 1983. 1983. So, Higurashi 2020 episode 19. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Kasi, you know, if you're about to, if you're about to, if you're an anime and you're about to end a run, uh, you have to set it up. Well, norm, well, it's the, it's the norm, it's the norm in the anime industry these days. Yun na napapansin ko. Yun na napapansin ko. You have to set it up as early as, uh, as early as the sixth to the last. Kumbaga, yung, 
katapusan ng anime mo, dapat within the, within the last five episodes. The setup will be the episode before that. Hindi nyo ba napapansin? Okay. Ako, madalas ko mapansin to sa Yu-Gi-Oh! Eh. Madalas ko mapansin to sa Yu-Gi-Oh! And, yeah, the seven deadly sins. Papansin mo na sa seven deadly sins yan. So, so it deserves, it, uh, this, this episode deserves the two thumbs up. Okay. If this is a, a true setup for the last five episodes of this reboot, oh hell yeah, expect me, expect me to finish this. <laughs> expect me to finish this. I don't know about you guys, right? But, like, like, like I told you, if this is a great setup for the last five episodes, whoa, <laughs> let's finish it. <laughs> Alright? So again, Higurashi 2020, episode 19. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. In typical Higurashi fashion, only the title of the next episode was teasered. <laughs> but, you can tell um, what's, what is, you can have, you can have a, uh, an inkling of what's going to happen in the final five episodes when it starts next week. Kaya, if you haven't, if you haven't seen the Higurashi reboot, you might as well start now. Okay. Binge watch the first, uh, the first 19 episodes. Binge watch the first 19 episodes if you have to. Para maintindihan nyo, kung ano ang mangyayari sa last five. Tip ko sa inyo, Twitch. Tip ko sa inyo yung mga ka-lifestyle. So, tutok na. Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 18. Wow! <laughs> mga itos, mga itos band, band of Mary... Mary curses interferes. All right, wonderful. And we're just getting to. Well, I think uh, Itadori's team is close to winning. Okay. Well, the outside interference, natural. Magigilam na mga teachers. Okay, sila sila dojo. Si the principal na matandang matandang loko. All right. Final scene. Yun na. Uh, the curse, the curse speech guy, right? Si yung Archer at si Megumi, they're they're now trying to uh, they're now trying to fend off this uh, new si Akami yata yung pangalan yung pangalan yata nani? They're trying to fend off Akami. Alakas. Overall, it's a good episode. Okay, it's a really good episode. Kasi uh, yung pace, of course, well. Medyo may, kabi, medyo may kabilisan, but under, understandable. Kasi, napabilis nung nakialang sila mga hito. Okay. Doon, na bumi, doon, doon talaga bumilis yung pace ng episode. Then of course, the flow. Yeah, then we got, we got, uh, we got, uh, Kamos, Kamos backstory. Right. Pero, super click. It did not interfere in this match against Megumi. Okay. It did not inter, it did not, it did not interfere with the impact uh, of the match, of his match against uh, of the match that he loved in Megumi. Alright? That was the plot. Yeah, very good. Magandang umisa ng episode. Alright? I didn't know Kamo can use blood as a curse, for his curse technique. Wow. Grabe. I suddenly got that, uh, I suddenly got that noblesse, that noblesse feels. You still, if you guys still remember Noblesse, no si Ryzen, he uses blood to, to build his spells. Okay? So, yeah. There, there's that, there's the Noblesse reference there, so to speak. So, <clears throat> Jujutsu Kaisen episode 18. Two thumbs up. Alright. Two thumbs up. For once, okay, for once, uh, for for back to back episodes, okay. For back to back episodes, Itadori wasn't featured, all right. Which is which is good, okay. Which is good, because if you're 
Itaduri is an underdog here. Okay? He is not primarily a Jujutsu sorcerer to begin with. Kaya lang siya pinasok sa Jujutsu Tech is because Sukuna lives within him. Okay? Yung espiritu ni Sukuna. The most feared Jujutsu sorcerer of all time. Alright? Okay, kaya nga yung principal ng yung matandang loko principal nga ng Kyoto Brat gusto siyang gusto siyang pinatutub ba na nga siya eh. Alright? They, they really want to kill Itadori. So, technically, okay, technically, Itadori is the underdog here. Kaya lang siya naging Jujutsu Sorcerer because of some, yeah, because of Sukuna lives within him and he has to learn, uh, he has to learn the ropes now of becoming a Jujutsu Sorcerer. Kasi nga, not only will he face cursed spirits who are after Sukuna's, uh, Sukuna's fingers, but also other Jujutsus as well. Ayan nga, sila mga hito. Sila mga hito yun. Alright? So, now, he's in this school na puro super lakas na jujutsu. Okay? His, uh, his barkata, si Megumi, tsaka si, 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 babaya. I really need to, I really need to know the cast names, alright? I really need to remember, I really need to remember them. Ito, parang doon, dalawang doon, lakas ni. Eh. Alright? Shikigami user si Megumi, tapos yung babae naman, uh, magkukulam. <laughs> okay, that's our uh, puppet master. Kapagka puppet master siya. They're not just good at magic, they're also good at they're also good at fighting. Alright? So, Itadori has to learn all those just to defend himself from all of these, from all, from all sorts of enemies, resulting in that, 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 he, that he attracted actually when he acquired Sukuna. Alright? Kaya, dapat lang na-feature yung mga yung mga yung mga characters na nakapaligid sa kanya. Because, they're, no, like I said a while ago, they are no when it comes to first techniques, they are no pushovers. Kasi, mas biyasa sila actually. Uh, they're more they're more adept than Itadori. So, Mapa made, Mapa made the right call here in featuring, I think, in featuring some of them, no, in featuring nearly all of them in as many episodes. Right? Because, well, I got this feeling that it's gonna play, it's gonna play a huge role later on. Okay? Look, guys, this, well, Jujutsu Kaisen is about to end. It's only a 24 episode run. So, 18 ngayon, di ba? Next week, 19. Then, two weeks from now. Then, the week after that, episode 20 na. The final five episodes. So, I believe this is also a, uh, it's also a good setup for, uh, for what's about to happen in the next, the last few episodes. Alright? So, again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode. 18 Two thumbs up right. Two thumbs up So the battle rages on We'll just have to Watch the next episode to see what's going to happen Alright Don't worry guys We got a, we got a room for Mega Man The other guys Habang Habang hindi pa dumarating sila Itato rin ng Toto Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 36. The duels never cease to amaze me, alright? There's not a duel in the entire franchise that sucked, right? The duel here is no exception, okay? Pero, pero the circumstances... Mm, parang... <laughs> outrageous, okay? Outrageously funny, that is, okay? So... Final scene. The match ends in probably the probably the first perfect draw in this an, in in this whole anime franchise. They both have an empty hand. Both their fields are empty, and they ended up with zero life points at the same time. Parang sila na life points at the same time. Luke said it pretty well. 
it is the perfect draw. Okay? I don't know, I don't know if this can happen in in a real life competition, pero malabo eh. <laughs> malabo mangyari. So it's anime, okay? This is probably one of the craziest finishes to a duel in the entire franchise. Okay? And uh, wow, it's quite an uh, it's quite a pleasure to to watch it firsthand. So overall. I'm all praise for it. It was a blast of an episode. Okay? It was a blast of an episode. Ang highlight ng episode to is that both that the twins are using the same art style. The builds, the builds may be different. Okay? They got different takes on it. Eh. Kaya pero gamay nila isa't isa. Eh. Gamay, gamay nila ang dueling style ng isa't isa. So this is probably why it ended in the perfect draw. If you're still, if you're still stuck as to uh, as to how we players build our decks, okay? Let me give you a definition. Let me give you a terminology, guys. Let me give you a, a little, a little, uh, a little uh, glossary of terms, okay? Archetype is a group of cards with a uh, with with a with a uh, with a certain commonality. It can be type, it can be attribute, it can even be attack and depth stats. It can even be the effect or um, the requirements to activate that effect. Alright? Basta, an arch type is a group of cards with a, uh, with a certain commonality. A certain common ground. Not just, not just in name, ha? not just in name. Pero, more, uh, siguro half the time, uh, it's based on name. It's based on name. Okay? Tapos you build. Well, basically a build is how you the build is how you construct your deck. It's the overall it's the overall construction of your deck. It's a build. Two players may be two players may be using the same arch type, but I doubt if they're I doubt, I doubt if they're if they're using the same build. At least in at least from a real world standpoint. At least from a real world standpoint. So, Yu Gi Oh! 7's episode 36. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Bakit? Here's my number one reason. I just saw, okay, uh, for the first time, the perfect draw. I don't know. I have. Um, I couldn't remember when. When this happened before, okay, I don't, I couldn't remember when this happened before. But <clears throat> if my memory serves me correct, this is the first time this happened. The perfect draw. Okay, bang, both players, wala nang hands, wala nang, wala nang cards sa hand. Okay, they have an empty hand. Both their fields are empty. Okay, both their fields are empty, and both their life points went to zero at the same time. That's the perfect draw. Tama ang sabi ni Luke doon. Okay? Tamang uh, pagkaka-turn. Tamang pagkaka-turn ni Luke doon. It's the perfect draw. It's the main reason why it's a great episode. Okay? If you're a if you're a if you're a yugista like me, both a fan and a player, both fan and player kasi pag sinabi ko yugista, <clears throat> pag sinabi ko kasing yugista, you're both a fan and a player of, uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay? Yun ang Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Kasi may mga Yu-Gi-Oh! players na hindi naman nanonood ng anime. Okay? There are some of us, there are some of us Yu-Gi-Oh! players who actually don't watch the anime. Okay? And there are um, fans of the anime franchise that don't play the card game. I can't call them yu gi so, pag sinabi kong yu, so if I tell you that you're a yugista, that means you're a fan of both. The, that means you are uh, you're a fan of the anime franchise and you also play the card game, like me. All right. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode thirty-six. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up, Twitch. So next episode, it's still in the dueling coliseum. Now, 
Oh my God, it's Luke. <laughs> Yan, tinishare ko na ha. So, I, I just gave you clues of who is up next to do well. So, all you have to do is fucking watch it. King's Great Episode 20. Wow! Did you see the final scene? Okay? Even Malduk was surprised. Imbis yung, imbis si Ang Mundo Nova, so Dark Lord. Bakit si King Kyle? <laughs> ha? Bakit yung tatay ni Gassel ang lumabas? Alright? It was already the time when, uh, it was already the time when a full moon and the nocturnal sun has superimposed. Yung talagang, kumbaga, sort of an eclipse, parang ganun. Then this happens. Okay? Kahit si Malduk na, nagulat sa nangyari. Okay? Bakit si King Kyle ang lumabas? Hindi ang, hindi ang Dark Lord. Alright? Overall, if it, okay, if it weren't for the final scene, this would have been this would have been a mediocre episode. Kasi, nagkwento, nagkwento, it's, it was backstory. The, the episode went on backstory mode. Then, all of a sudden, this happens. Okay? <clears throat> Yung pace, okay, I had an issue with it. Okay? It was, well, it was rather slow, but the flow, yung biglang, kumambong, kumambong ganun. Wow! <laughs> Hindi ko na-expect yun, okay? Kumag kumaga sa Aldab, hindi ako na-orient. <laughs> hindi ako na-orient nun. <laughs> so, the plot, okay, uh, understandable. Okay, it's understandable. Kinwento ni Pablo ng lahat sa nangyari. And seeing, well, seeing Castle's resolve, ganun na ganun kasi ang, ang result ng mga magulang niya. Okay? Ganun na ganun, naalala to ni Pablo. Then, it was justification enough for him to to help to help the sun out. So yun, they set out to, to totally unseal the holy sword. Pupunta nila ang world tree. Grabe. <clears throat> Grabe yung episode na to, okay? I like the I like the flow of this episode, all right? Amongst probably amongst all the amongst all the episodes that I've reviewed so far this week, ito may pinakamagandang flow, all right? Talagang hindi ako na-orient. <laughs> hindi ako na-orient. Alright? So, King's Reign Episode 20, two thumbs up. If we were doing this in my room, I would also give it a big toe. But, I couldn't. <laughs> Kaya two thumbs up na lang. Okay? It's, it's not my highest rating. Okay? It's not my highest rating. The final scene gave me that... Uh, Gave me that um, road to the finale feels, huh? Okay. Kung si sino sa inyo nakapan, kung sino sa kung sino pa sa inyo nakapan ng episode na to, you would have that. You would have that feeling that King's Reign is about to end. Kasi duwa pa sa ang Dark Lord, alright? Pero sa di na sa pangyayari si King Kyle ng lubabas. Even Malduk was surprised. Okay? Na siyang nag-cast ng, na siyang nag-cast ng spell. Grabe. You know, yeah, going back to my feels, alright? Well, kututusin talaga matatapos ang King's Raid eh. After episode 21 next week, it's episode 22. So, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. It's now down to the final five episodes. So, <clears throat> yeah, okay. it is a good way to tell the viewers that this anime is about to end. Okay, you got me, King's Raid. You got me. So again, King's Raid episode 20. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Now, okay, let me warn you that uh, the next episode is, well, kakambyo, kakambyo. Kakambyo pabalik kila rehit naman. Yun lang. Yun lang masasabi ko. Alright? But, I am fully, uh, 
fully confident that this will be no boring backstory. Like, uh, well, let's see, let's just see. Pavel's backstory was a little bit boring, but I got a good feeling that uh, the, the backstory in, this, in the next episode will not be as boring. Alright? So, abangers na lang tayo. Yasha Hime, episode 19. We, we can see sort of a deviation from the from their usual adventures, okay? <clears throat> well, we all know what happened in the last episode. They got, well, uh, they got put in their place by by uh, by Kirin Maru, right? So, they probably needed this kind of an, they probably needed this kind of an episode to, well, uh, what's all this? Assert their bonds, not just as, <clears throat> not just as, uh, well, uh, adventure partner, but their family, like their family. I say, what? Magkapatid mga tatay ni, magkapatid mga tatay nila. They all got screwed by this princess. That's all. That's all. That's all I wanna say. Final, final scene. Okay. Final scene. Yeah. Towa's, towa's. Toa was pissed at Moa and Toa got pissed at Moa, both Moa and Setsuna, but uh, she, well, she's super good in time, so pinatawag na lang yung dalawa. Pinatawag na lang yung dalawa. Okay. Overall, if it weren't for its, um, if it weren't for the, <clears throat> for the funny circumstances, this would have been, uh, this may have been, uh, This anime's worst episode. All right. If it weren't for, yeah, if it weren't for the plot, if it weren't for the plot, this might have been, this might have been a really bad episode for for Yashahime. And what carried it was the pace and the flow. I say, the pace. In fact, I say they were. Uh, Moro and Setsuna were trying very hard to keep this, keep this uh, adventure of theirs a secret to Toa. Then the flow naman, oh, smooth lang, okay? Hindi sila kumambyo, hindi sila kumambyo in the worst, uh, in, uh, the, the timing was good actually. Everyone's timing was good, especially Kohaku. Kasi, nabisto niya yung Nabiso niyo kasi yung plano ng prinsese. All I can say to that girl is, magsama na kay ni Kirin Maru. <laughs> magsama na kay ni Kirin Maru. So, Yasha Hime, episode 19. Matang ako. Alright. Munti ko nang, munti ko nang bigyan ng, ano ni. But I chose this. Why? Kasi, they needed to, they needed to reevaluate their bonds eh. Sina tatlo, Morohan, Setsuna, tsaka si Toa. Well, you know, you all know, you, we all know how blunt Setsuna can be. Especially towards her twin sister. Alright? And, um, well, Moro has a, ngayari, if there's a disagreement between the, twin, between the twins, Moro has sometimes steps in to what? Just, just to, to calm them both down. Alright? This was an, I think, I think this was an episode uh, that would, uh, uh, that would, yeah, that has assessed the, the bonds between those three. Alright? If you could deep dive into it. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, this episode made me think. Talaga, right? If it weren't for wait, I just realized that this episode had a deep dive factor. Right? So yeah, it was it was the right decision for me to give it this. Right? So yeah, it deserved it. So again, Yasahime episode 19. Month of, right? 
ang tama. Now, stop the presses. Okay? I've seen the teaser for the next episode. Due, due to the uh, interference by by, uh, by my text message alert, I wasn't able to give, give the, the teaser for the next episode. But that, that's okay. The rating still, still stands. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 10. For, well, for an episode that has that doesn't have any battle scenes, it's quite tense. Okay, it had that uh, tense atmosphere, right? Final scene. Well, Zeke is under close guard by, uh, well, by the scouts, headed by nonetheless then. The guy, who, the guy who really wants to kill him okay, at every chance he gets. It's a Levi. Okay. Overall. Yeah, it's um if it weren't for if it weren't for the tense atmosphere. Okay, if it weren't for the tense atmosphere exhibited by this episode, it might have been a so so one. Probably to the level of episode three. But sorry it didn't. Yung pace. Yeah. Okay lang. Yung flow. Medyo pa ganon ganon eh. Pabalik balik sa timeline. The timeline of two years ago and the current timeline. Tapos yung plot. Not much. Okay. Uh, but it's the tense. It's the tense atmosphere that made this a decent episode. Okay. Made it a decent. Made it a decent episode. That, uh, we, we all know how well, you Attack on Titan fans know how rebellious Eren can get. He just showed it here. Okay. He almost went Titan kanina. Grabe. <laughs> may na palang gali dito si Eren. Okay. May, may na palang gali dito. Especially now that he, he, he now has the Warhammer. He now has the powers of the Warhammer Titan. So, dalawang, dalawang titan na yung dumadali na sa dugo niya. Okay. So, yeah. It's a it's a pretty decent episode. Okay. It's back... The way it told... Uh, the way it told... Uh, what you call this? Mikasa's... Mikasa's backstory. Yeah. It's really good. It's just a... Kasi, kumbaga... I completely understand how... Uh, why MAPA did it this way? Kasi, kung tuloy-tuloy lang yung backstory as in episode 3, maybe, um, ah, uh, may have to delete the review. Okay, let. Taposin na natin to. Right? So, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 10, what the fuck? Right? I won't have to explain it anymore because uh, I'm, well, right now but nonetheless okay nonetheless the reason why I gave it this is because the episode had that tense atmosphere right? I felt that okay the backstory the way they told the backstory here is yeah it's, it isn't boring right it isn't boring because uh, two years ago current timeline two years ago current timeline so there are uh, what's it called this Baka parang here to date yung ginagawa nila. Okay. Their views two years ago, their views now. Their view on this two years ago, their views on it. On the same subject now. Okay lang. So again, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 10. Ang tama. Next episode, it's quite an intriguing one. Yun lang masasabi ko. So, let's keep on watching this. X Arm Episode 6. Wow. Okay. Mu Yen. Well, basically, Mu Yen rallied some of, well, some of his competitors in crime. 
well, against the team. So final scene, well, <clears throat> Amo was able to, to neutralize uh, the, Nguyen, the immediate threat by Nguyen. Malakusang Andre Tem and the mysterious, mysterious mad guy with a suspected X arm. But Akira finally gets face to face with Beta, or should I say, the auctioneer. Overall, it's a really good episode. Okay? It's a really good episode. Because the pace. And uh, the pace was impeccable, right? It's just right because they're, they're on a stakeout. So, the pace is tense. Yung pace, eh. okay? The flow, mm, yeah? Then suddenly, Akira meets, well, Akira, Akira gets face to face with Beta. Okay? I love the way, uh, I love I love that twist. Okay, I love the way the uh, the episode transition into that twist, which is, which is the final scene. Then of course the plot. Mm -hmm. Okay, X arm auction. Then a bombing, suicide bombing. Just to well, actually that suicide bombing is the unique same proposition of the auction, the X arm auction. Kaya pala. Galing. Just just to show you how vile. Criminals are in this stage in, uh, in this anime, right? It's what makes it a cyberpunk anime, okay? The dystopia, okay? The dystopic nature required for a cyberpunk anime is here, and I do not know why uh, why people are still judging it based on the animation. Ocha story, story na nating na natin. Story na lang ating na natin. Ang ganda ng X-Arm. Right? So, X-Arm, episode 6. So, thumbs up. Right? Now, I was, uh, uh, my brain and heart were, uh, juggling two thumbs up, one thumbs up, and this. Pero, Hindi, hindi, hindi siya justified na, ganun, na ganituhin ko eh. And the action, the action, well, one thumb up will be enough eh, to, to completely, uh, what is it, to completely, uh, justify the experience I got from watching this episode. Okay, yeah, two thumbs up. Okay, mainly because of the uh, the flow. Well, you plot, I just, you know, I've seen this before, but it's a uh, it's it's a different take. It's actually a different take. And you, uh, but mostly it was the flow that it was the flow that actually uh, uh, convinced me to give it the two thumbs up, right? So again, X-Arm episode six, two thumbs up, okay? Two thumbs up, guys. So next episode has been teasered. Wow, okay. It's right, it's a probably a continuation. Yeah. It looks like the continuation of this episode. So I wanna see I want to see what happened. Uh, what happened between what happened between uh, Akira and Beta? That's that's what that's the one I want to see in the next episode. Joe Cooking Master Boy season oh second season pala <laughs> episode six. May kaya pa lang magselos din si, Ma si Liu Mao Zing, ano? Alright? The great Liu Mao Zing! Uh, let's, let's just say he got into a, uh, a fit of jealousy by um, not cooking in his usual style. Ayun. Final scene! A 
familiar face returns. But before that, Mount challenges um, Zuki to a cooking contest. Ito pa lang si Zuki. Putang ina, member, member ng cooking underworld pala to. Okay. He is probably one of the one of the one of the um, the big five of the cooking underworld, right? Overall, it's a really good episode. Okay, yung pace, yeah, tamang tama lang. The flow, mm hmm, yeah. Mao, oh, Mao, Mao. Let's let's just say that Mao loses it. Okay, by um, by cooking cooking some foods improperly, dito. Okay, that's a chef's way of losing it. And of course, the plot, right? We can say, yeah, it's a it's a good plot. Although it's obvious that it's not done. Okay, this uh, mini art is not done, right? So, yeah. I am looking forward to, to the continuation of this this rivalry between Mao and and Zuki. All right? Talaga naman. Talagang below the belt. Below the belt kung mag-operate ang cooking underworld, ano? Grabe. Even they they will even play they will even play mind games with you. So, True Cooking Master Boy second season episode 6. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Now, Twitch, I know uh, that I wasn't uh, reacting the way you wanted it to be, but deep inside, yeah, I I felt sorry for Mao here. <laughs> okay? And eh, maybe it was maybe it was actually the plan of the cooking underworld to yeah to break his spirit. Ito ang mission ngayon ni, ni Suki. He starts hitting on Mei Li, making Mao jealous uh, until such point that he's losing his cooking style. Okay, the, the cooking style that has that has been uh, that has been pissing off the cooking underworld. Okay, so I don't know what I don't know how he's going to fare in the cooking the cooking battle he challenged Zuki to. Okay. May kakayaan din ito eh. Okay? And we all saw in the episode that he is a member of the Cooking Underworld. Kumbaga, kumbaga undercover job. That's why it's a really good episode. Kasi the, cook, kasi the Cooking Underworld will, we now know that they will go to great lengths just to destroy Liu Mao Zing and keep him from from gathering all the eight legendary cooking utensils, all the, the eight legendary cooking tools. All right, cha talagang pain in the ass sa cooking underworld. Okay, is that much of a pain in the ass to to them? Yeah, they will they will even hit them below the belt like this just to uh, just to get rid of him. So again, true cooking master boy second season episode six. Two thumbs up. Hey, I feel for you, Mao. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I feel sorry for Mao here. Okay. Hindi ko man alay na. Wow. Magseseryos ang ganito si Mao. All right. You know what? I, to tell you the truth, I am not familiar with uh, with this from the original episode, from the original series. Okay. I was not. I, I'm not familiar with this episode. Okay, I'm not familiar with the with this episode from the original series. Kaya, yeah, next episode has been teasered. I am going to look forward to this. And I'm going to treat it as an episode I have never seen before. Alright? Just to totally enjoy it. The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment, Episode 6. Wow. Okay, let, me, uh, let me put that here. Wow. <laughs> Alam nyo, uh, I've, been, I've been a fan of Seven Deadly Sins since, uh, 
since Science of Holy War, actually, since Science of Holy War. This episode uh, may signal the start of the apocalypse, okay? So, nakakalula. Uh, I was speechless, okay? I was speechless when I was reviewed, when I reviewed, when I just reviewed, I, I just reviewed this episode, okay, just now. And wow, okay? though, my head is now, is now so OP that, uh, The heroes gotta step up, okay? So, final scene. Okay? Final scene. King evolves. Wow. Alright. Overall, it is one hell of an episode. Okay? It's one hell of an episode. Well, kasi, yung, yung pace, okay, the pace, Medyo, yeah. The pace is just right. Okay? The flow. Aha. Uh that -huh. was Kumambio. With, uh, with King's Evolution. And of course, the plot. Siyempre carrying over from the last episode. Wow. Okay? Uh, it really has that final season feels. Okay? It really has the final season feels. Talagang... Story-wise, wow. Okay, everything came, everything came into place when all of, all of a sudden King evolves. Grave. I I was speechless when I was watching this episode. I was I was nearly speechless. Okay? I was nearly speechless. Grave. It slowly. Sinking in now that uh, that the seven deadly sins is ending. All right. Although we're only six, although we're only six episodes in, talaga mararamdaman mo na. Mararamdaman mo na that this anime is ending. Right. Even this early, some uh, some of the deadly sins are now evolving at the right place and at the right time. Okay. I'm talking about none other than King. Right. This is King's moment. Okay. Bottom line, he doesn't want to die yet. And well, like the uh, like the opening suggests, he wants to marry. He wants to marry Diane. Okay. He wants to marry. Di he wants to marry Diane. He wants to make her his queen. Okay. He wants to make her his queen. So yeah, that's prob. That was probably. That was probably all the motivation he needed to evolve and just to simply take out Mael. Just to simply neutralize Mael in any way possible. Yung, yung story na, 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 na focus na kila, kila Elizabeth. So for, that's for three episodes. And then that's for back-to-back -back episodes now. Which is good. Kasi, andito talaga ito toong laban eh. Alright? So they are, they are, they are doing it out with Mael, without Pan and Melodas. With all seven together, we, we, I've seen it before okay, in Prisoners of the Sky, and, uh, and of course in season three. They are unstoppable. Okay? They are totally unstoppable. Pag, pag nagsama sama silang pito. Kaya nga seven deadly sins sa tawag sa kanila eh. Alright? And for, for King to evolve uh, again at the right place at the right time, wow! Okay? This will well, well, we, well we hope he can soften up Mael okay, before before Ban and Milonas are successful in, Port in Purgatory. Alright? But who knows? So, the seven deadly sins Dragon's Judgment episode 6 Two thumbs up. Gulat kayo, no? Two thumbs up. Alright? But, <clears throat> another thing. Kasi, uh, everybody is now, everybody, nearly everybody has stepped up. He has stepped up to the plate when it comes to, when it came to Mael. Elizabeth, well, 
napupush yung healing, yung healing power si Rito. Okay? She was healing Diane, but was unable to heal King, but somehow, King overcomes that and evolves. Okay? That's why they're called the seven deadly sins. They're that scary when it comes to when it comes to dealing with the, dealing with the enemy. Okay? They're that scary. <laughs> yeah, they, they can be that scary sometimes. Especially when Meliotas is with them. Alright? But lo and behold, Meliotas is not around them, but they are still, but they are still going toe-to-toe with Mael. Okay? Who is well, who is the boss villain right now? Okay? You can't consider the Demon King the boss villain right now. No, eh, eh, eh. He's in purgatory too. He's in purgatory too. Mukhang nagtatago pa nga eh. Mukhang nagtatago pa nga eh. Ang Demon King. This episode uh, has that final season feels. Okay? Kasi we are dealing with the boss villain eh. The villain to end all villains in this anime. Smael. Right? And three of the deadly sins are still uh, there only three of the deadly sins are are dealing with him support si Elizabeth support si Hawk then of course si Oslo pero kumpatay ni kumpatay na si Oslo but nonetheless okay, the highlight of this episode is King's evolution sudden evolution to be exact Okay, yan ang highlight. Which is also the final scene. Grabe. Wow. I still can't believe no, the Seven Deadly Sins anime is ending. Okay? And this episode just reminded me of that. Okay? It just reminded me. It just reminded me of that. So again, the Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment episode 6. Two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up, Twitch. So... Only the title of the next episode has been teasered. Let's just watch it. Long Horizon, third season, episode six. Well, um, they're telling the story. Well, I think. Shiro's main rival, si Krusty, I think he's in trouble. Kawawa si ano dito? Kawawa si Krusty. He's up against two ancient heroes now. And Shiro still hasn't got a clue from all the, uh, from the, from the puppet show that's trying to tell his story. Alright? Final scene. Yun nga. Uh, they're going to take, the, the two who are, the two who are trying to tell the story, they're gonna take a bathroom break because it is, it's, it's a puppet play. Okay? They're translating it. They are telling um, Krusty's mishap into a puppet play. Is that necessary? I don't know. Okay. Overall, it's neither a good nor a bad episode. Okay. But the pace. The plot, no, the plot is really good, okay? Uh, Krusty's um, call for help, well, it's not, uh, it's not really Shiro yet. And, uh, and the, the Roundtable Conference. No, the Log Horizon Guild, okay? The Log Horizon Guild. It's not rich. it's, he, Shiro hasn't got, a, hasn't gotten a clue yet. So, but it guys a pace to my flow. The pace is um, slow enough, but the flow is. Yeah, dragging. The flow is dragging. It's, it's quite dragging. And is it necessary to tell it to, to interpret Trusty's uh, call, call for help story? Uh, a. Uh, as a puppet play? Nanganganid na nga buhay ng tao, gaganon yung, yung, yung 
gaganyan yung ipang story na niya. Alright? I don't think it's necessary. Well, well, the way I see it, okay, the way I see it, Krusty, is, Krusty needs help. And probably because of this puppet show that Shiro doesn't get it. Okay? So, uh, I'm torn between good and bad when it comes when, when, for this episode. I'll tell you honestly. So, Log Horizon 3rd Season Episode 6. I want... I couldn't give it the... Uh, I couldn't give it the thumbs down. Because... Uh, as you've seen in... As you've seen in the teaser for the next episode, this is just part one of the story. Right? But... The one that saved it was the uh, was the final scene. Okay. The one that saved it was the final scene. Say, medyo comic really from the thing. And the part one, si Armu na kami. All right. That was the only uh, that was the only bright spot in the episode. That was the only bright spot in the episode. It's it's what it's what actually saved it from getting a lower getting a lower rating getting the lowest rating all right i may be a fan of log horizon but i'm doing an episode review so i'm as objective as i can be so i found this episode boring but not dragging and then dragging let, let me rephrase that okay let me rephrase that I found this episode uh, dragging, but not exactly boring. Okay. Like, like I said, like I said a while ago, right? Like I said a while ago, Maha lifestyle Twitch. I am torn between uh, good and bad in, for this episode. Hence my way. So again, Log Horizon third season episode six. So <clears throat> next episode uh, has been teasered, but well, I hope, okay, I strongly pray that uh, this will be part two will be as dragging as part one of. of uh, Cross these call for help story. All right, let's just wait and see. B Star second season episode six. Quite a lot of awkward moments for this episode, even uh, even to B Star standards. All right, but anyway, yeah, it's quite. Uh, we can say a light-hearted, a light-hearted episode because there was no. Uh, excuse me. I've never seen Legacy get itself in, uh, in more awkward moments than this episode. Than in one episode, okay. I think he had four. <laughs> I think he had four, but it's um, it's quite the slice of life. Uh, it's quite the slice of life episode. Uh, I, uh, it is. Okay? It is quite a slice of life episode. Overall, it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. The pace, yung well, the pace, okay lang. Yung flow, yeah, okay lang. And the plot, well, carried over from the last one, kasi. We all know Louis tried to like try to shoot his stepfather in the head if he doesn't uh, sign that uh, notice, notice of withdrawal from from his school. Wow. Okay. He is quite the uh, quite the psychological being, right? Stepfather ni Louis, right? He is he's quite a character. Okay. 
he is quite a character. Uh, although his appearance was uh, rather short, it's a good episode. And well, maybe it was maybe it was about time for B Stars to uh, uh, to go slice of life. Ever since um, starting se ever since starting season two, right? So, B Stars second season episode six. On the map. On the map, well, although the uh, although the flow was uh, the flow of the episode was was rather well, slice of life-ish, but it was a bit dragging, okay? just a bit. It was just a bit dragging, and um, when it comes to slice of life, all right, but. Hey, this is Beastars. Okay? The usual slice of life episode should be uh, uh, should be uh, the lead character doing cute things. Or uh, there's a life. No, but don't get me wrong. There was a life. There was life lessons to be learned from this episode. But the way the flow, but the way it flowed, okay, it was a bit dragging. So it was a bit dragging. So that. That uh, compelled me to. That compelled me to give it the one thumb up, just the one thumb up. But don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong. It is a good episode. Okay. Very slice of life-ish. If you're into slice of life, if you're into the slice of life genre, you better watch this episode. Okay. It's just for you. So again, B Star second season episode six. One thumb up. My OBS just crashed on me. Uh, it just crashed on me, so I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna figure it out. Then, well, all I can see is right now. Let's wait for the next episode because when it comes to B stars, there are no teasers. 